since Game Builder Garage has no multiplayer, you may find playing against simple time-based AI in your games can get a little stale. So I was thinking maybe we can add some free will to our AI in the form of random actions. That sort of counts, right? So I've set up this simple one-on-one -on -one game where the two players can jump to dodge, launch a ball of destruction, or throw up a sturdy shield. Right now I've got this character set up to act either by my controls or through simple time-based prompts, but I want them to act randomly to keep me on my toes. So let's do that. So as you can see right now we have a very simple character that can jump, launch a death ball, and block. So what we're going to do first is get rid of these button press nodons that are activated by the controller since we're going to be adding in our own random action brain up top. Our empty canvas. So we're going to start with a timer nodon. This will decide how long between random action intervals. Then we'll add a constant nodon to feed that timer so it is constantly looping. I will change the settings to 0.5 so every half second the AI will decide on a new action to take. Then we'll grab the random nodon, which is sort of the power source of all of this random activity. We'll take the timer output and plug it into the random nodon input. Now you'll see that every half second, a new random value is selected. Now in this case, I want the value to appear for a brief moment because I want to take a single action and I don't want it to output a solid number for a long time. So we're going to add another timer this time with the smallest increment possible, 0.01 seconds. And each time the original timer goes off, this very tiny, very quick second timer will also be activated. And when it's done running its course, it will reset the random node on back to zero. This way, a random number in a random node on range gets selected and then goes back to zero until it waits for another random number to be selected. Depending on what you want to do in your game, you can actually just keep solid numbers on the random node on the whole time throughout. We'll have an example at the end where that is the case. Now we're going to get a few comparison node ons so that we can handle the output from the random node on. We'll plug the output from the random number into the three comparison node ons. To keep things simple, we'll have three constant nodons with three different values, one, two, and three, since that is the random range here. There are obviously always ways to optimize these builds, but I want to keep it very simple and human readable so that anyone can follow along. For example, you could use a greater than, equal to, and less than nodon with one constant of two to create the same effect, and you'd be saving two constant nodons at this point. We're simply going to plug the three constants into the three comparison nodons, and that's going to represent the three quick random actions that this AI can make. The basic engine is now complete, so we'll just plug in the three different comparison nodons to the three different character actions, and we'll basically be done. One towards the black shield launch nodon and towards the sound, but we'll leave that for the end so it doesn't get too annoying one towards the death ball launching node on, and then one towards the jump output on the player character. You can see with the ways that the node on connectors are pulsing that our system is working. So as we go back into play mode, you can see that the AI is now acting randomly. So it's a bit more fun than if it were timed or running very basic orders. Another thing you can do, like we mentioned before, is have the random output remain constant. So in this case, we're going to very simply make this person randomly decide whether to not move, to move to the left, or to move to the right. Since we don't want the random node on to reset, we'll get rid of that mini timer, and we'll change our original timer to 2 seconds, so that the output remains constant for 2 seconds at a time. We're going to leave one of our random options to be no output, so I'll leave that empty, or you can get rid of them and we'll take out an inversion node on so that we can get one for a positive one signal and one for a negative one signal. We'll run both the positive one signal and the negative one signal into the left right input of the person object. Now our red AI person will simply decide every two seconds whether he wants to walk to the left, to the right, or stay in place. You can actually take both of these and put them together and create a character that moves randomly and acts randomly, and you can apply it to a bunch of different gameplay mechanics. 
It's been a really long time since I've made or uploaded any videos, but I'm glad to be back. I'm trying to stay away from very huge projects that I would become overwhelmed with and then just not do, and instead stick to simpler things like this or recreating certain simple aspects of other games. So I'm open to suggestions.